Pablo, come. And as he's coming, wasn't it great to have Sammy here from South Africa? Love you, man. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. All right. Juan Pablo is from Colombia. His wife, Adriana, uh, they were here a year ago, I believe, and ministered to us. And they are part of... Um, our supported missionaries. You can see them on the back wall. There it says Medellin, and this is them. And he has brought coffee this morning. Hallelujah. Yeah, now, now this coffee on the back table there, we said, hey, yeah, you can set it up, and, and you can give a donation of $15 uh, per bag. This is Maria. You can come as well. Maria Alzamora is going to be translating. This is award-winning coffee from Colombia. Like, grown in the best region for coffee in Colombia. So, I think he has, I counted, he's 18 bags back there. And I don't, I think he should leave here with none. Is that okay? All right. So, uh, you can try it out. I think there's, there's bold and there's, med there's dark roast and medium roast, right? Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, it's awesome to have Juan Pablo here. So, let's pray for him. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence in this place. God, I thank you for your love for us as a congregation, for your people. I thank you for your love for um, Juan Pablo and Adriana and their family. In Jesus' name, God, we, we thank you for all that you have for us today, and we open our hearts to you. We thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the life-giving flow that comes from you, God. In the name of Jesus. We welcome you in this place through Juan Pablo today and through Maria in Jesus' name. Amen. Buenos dias. Hello. Hola, buenos dias. Good morning. Good morning. Estamos aquí. We're here. Good morning. Es una mañana donde es un placer hablar de Jesús. Uh, it's a great morning and a pleasure to talk to you about Jesus. Y lo que él hace en cada vida. And what he's doing in every life. Y es especial ir a una iglesia donde su presencia es muy fuerte. And it's very special to go to a church where his presence is very strong. Porque él está aquí. For, because he's here. No por nosotros. Not because of us. Sino por él. But because of himself. Así que dele un fuerte aplauso a Jesús. So give a great clap for Jesus. Yeah. Woo! Look at you. Hi, Nico. Thank you. Y como decía el pastor Mer. And how, uh, just like Mer was saying. Somos misioneros en la ciudad de Medellín, Colombia. We are missionaries in the city of Medellín, Colombia. Y hemos tenido que aprender acerca de cómo funciona el mundo espiritual en diferentes lugares. And we have had to understand how the spiritual world functions in different parts of the world. Porque no es igual en cada sitio. Because it's not the same in every place. Y Medellín es un lugar muy fuerte, muy difícil. And Medellín is a very difficult place. Llegó un momento en que se nos cerraron las puertas en Medellín. There, there was a moment where uh, doors were closed for us in Medellín. Y tenemos otra iglesia en Calarca, Quindío, a siete horas de Medellín. And we have another church in this weird place <laughs> at seven hours away. Y ese lugar es donde vivimos inicialmente. And that is the place where we used to live initially. Y al sentir tanta presión en Medellín, decidimos volver a Calarcá porque no podíamos pagar más cómo estar en Medellín. And as things got worse in Medellín, we decided to go back to Calarcá uh, so that we, because we could not stand the pressure anymore. Pero en ese día, después de 20 minutos de estar orando, But that day, after 20 minutes of prayer, recibo un email de esta iglesia. I receive an email from this church y que han estado orando por nosotros that they've been praying for us y que han decidido apoyarnos para estar en Medellín. And that they've been, uh, they have decided to uh, support us to stay in Medellín. 
Así que Dios abrió puertas. So God opened the door. Y les voy a contar lo que Dios está haciendo en Medellín. And I'm going to tell you what God is doing in Medellín. Así que lo que estamos haciendo, predicando y evangelizando en Medellín. So what we've been doing, preaching and evangelizing in Medellín. Ustedes son parte de todo este esfuerzo. You are part of all this effort. No quiero que nos vean a nosotros. I don't want you to see us. Sino que miren cómo somos un engranaje que le sirve a Cristo. But just see ourselves as some kind of machine that is working together for Jesus. Vamos a Primera de Corintios capítulo 4 versículo 20. We're going to 1 Corinthians 4, 20. 1 Corinthians. Okay. 4 verse 20. Primera de Corintios capítulo 4 versículo 20. Yes. Dice... Porque el reino de los cielos, yeah. el reino de Dios, no consiste en palabras, sino en poder. For the kingdom of God does not consist in talk, but in power. Yes. Yes. Y estamos en un punto del mundo, estamos en un punto de la sociedad. We're at a point in society and in the world. Donde podemos hablar muy bonito. Where we can speak great words pero necesitamos poder de Dios. Y esta sociedad es cambiada por gente de poder. Poder de Dios. Aquí en el poder de Dios no cabe profesión alguna. Es Él. Es el Espíritu de Dios. Y cuando el Espíritu de Dios viene sobre la iglesia. Church, y la iglesia se somete a Cristo. Christ, cada corazón habla del poder de Cristo en su vida. Cuando un nuevo creyente llega a Cristo. Christ, y lo guiamos a su palabra. Word, su palabra cambia a la persona. Person. No una profesión. Profession. Una profesión es una añadidura. Okay, es un regalo. No la presencia de Dios. La presencia de Dios cambia vidas. Restaura corazones. Saca la oscuridad. Para que el Espíritu de Dios transforme una sociedad. Usted y yo. Somos parte del ejército de Dios. Así que debemos tener poder. So we have to have power. Y muchos de ustedes. And many of you, y en muchas iglesias. And in many churches, se está perdiendo el poder de Dios. The church of God is being lost porque la sociedad los está envolviendo. Because society is pressing upon them con diferentes filosofías. With different philosophies, diferentes caminos. Different ways, pero el único camino al Padre. But the only way to the Father es Jesús. Is Jesus. Y Jesús en nuestras and vidas. Jesus in our lives, abre. Opens la oportunidad para miles the opportunity for thousands para entrar a una eternidad. To enter eternity. Su trabajo y el mío Your work and mine es mostrar poder de Dios is to show the power of God para que el mundo sea cambiado. So that the world can change. Por eso dice la Escritura This is why the scriptures say, porque el reino de Dios because the kingdom of God no es solo palabras is, doesn't consist es on poder talk, but in power. Y el poder and the power se tiene que manifestar en su vida has to manifest in your life, donde usted vaya wherever you go, con quien hable whenever you are donde with, entre wherever you enter, las tinieblas se tienen que ir. The darkness has to leave. Una cosa es decirlo so, uh, one thing is to just talk about it. y otra cosa es vivirlo. Another is to live it. Come on, you're me happy. Vamos a hechos. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to, okay, I'm trying to compose myself here. Woo! Okay. Let's touch go, me, touch me. Come on, bro. Let's go to Acts. Hechos, uh, capítulo 8. Uh, Hechos, capítulo 8, Acts versículo 8. 4 al 13. Ah, uh, the verses 4 to 13. Pero los que fueron esparcidos. Those who were scattered. Si quieres leer. Okay, yeah. Dale, leer. Now, those who were scattered went about preaching the word. Philip went down to the city of Samaria. 
and proclaim them to Christ. And the crowds with one accord paid attention to what was being said by Philip when they heard him and saw the signs that he did. For unclean spirits crying out with a loud voice came out of many who had them, and many who were paralyzed or lame were healed. So there was much joy in the city. But there was a man named Simon who had previously practiced magic in the city and amazed at the people of Samaria, saying that he himself was somebody great. They all paid attention to him from the least to the greatest, saying, this man is the power of God that is called great. And they pay attention to him because for a long time he had amazed them with his magic. But when they believed Philip, as he preached good news about the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. Even Simon himself believed. And after being baptized, he continued with Philip and seeing signs and great miracles performed, he was amazed. Esto es lo que hace un hombre de Dios o una mujer de Dios. This is what a man or a woman of God can do. Donde llega una persona con la presencia de Dios. Don't, where a, a person comes with God's presence. Vamos a encontrar a muchos simones. We're going to encounter demonic. Engaño. Uh, deceit. Mentira. Lies. Falsas religiones. False religions. Falsos dioses. False gods. Es lo que vemos hoy en la sociedad. It's what we see today in society. Está lleno de Simón la universidad. Uh, yeah, universities are, are filled with Simon. Las calles. The streets. Los vecinos. Your uh, neighbors. Enfermos. Sick people. Destruidos. Destroyed people. Pero saben una cosa. But you know what? Donde Felipe estaba. Where Philip was. El Espíritu de Dios llegó a él. The Spirit of God was upon him. Porque dice la Biblia que llamaron a siete diáconos. Because it's, the Bible says that they call seven deacons. Llenos del Espíritu Santo. Filled with the Holy Spirit. Para que atendiera a la gente, a las mujeres, sirviera comida. To serve others, to serve food. Ahí to estaba others. Felipe. And the, in that group was Philip. Y Felipe necesitó el Espíritu Santo para atender a otras personas. And the Holy uh, Philip needed the Holy Spirit to actually serve others. Pero el Señor probó su corazón. But God tested his heart. Si era fiel en lo poco. To see if he was faithful in the little. Y luego Felipe. And then Philip. Fue enviado a otro lugar. Was sent to another place. Donde gobernaba Satanás. Where Satan was governing. Y a través de este hombre. And through this man. La libertad llegó. Liberty arrived. Si no somos fieles en lo poco. If we are not faithful in the little. Dios no va a actuar en lo mucho. God will not act in the bigger. No porque Dios no pueda. Not because he can't. Sino porque nosotros somos infieles. But, but because we are unfaithful. Y dice las escrituras. And it says in the scriptures. Que este Simón. That this Simon. Estaba engañando a la gente. Was deceiving people. Con sus artes mágicas. With his magic. Y la gente decía, este es el gran poder de Dios. And people were saying, this is the great power of God. Quiero decirles algo. I'll have to tell you something. El poder de Satanás. The power of Satan. Nunca se parece al de Cristo. Will never be like Christ. Nunca. Ever. Es una imitación. It's an imitation. Y el que no tiene el espíritu de Dios. And the one that doesn't have the spirit of God. Caen en imitaciones. Will fall into imitations. Siguen imitaciones. Siguen imitaciones. They are following im imitations. Dicen que después de la muerte no hay nada. They say that after death, there is nothing. Empiezan a entrar en su mentalidad de gnosticismo. Yeah, they start to get into this gnostic mentality. Pero solo hay una verdad. But there's only one truth. Que el Espíritu Santo va a revelar a través de un Felipe. That the Holy Spirit is going to reveal through Philip. ¿Usted es ese Felipe? Are you Philip? ¿Ha sido fiel en lo poco? Have you been faithful in the little? ¿Quiere que Dios lo use con poder? Do you want God to use you with power? ¿Cuánto ha estado en sus rodillas? How long have you been in your knees? ¿Cuánto ama a Jesús? How much do you love Jesus? ¿Cuánto se ha arrepentido? How much have you repented? ¿La palabra de Cristo sí mora en ustedes? The, the word of Christ in you. Y la Biblia dice. It, well, it says. 
El reino de los cielos sufre violencia. The Bible says that the kingdom of God suffers violence. Pero solo los valientes lo arrebatan. And the violent take it by force. Y quiero decirles que el reino de Dios necesita valientes. And I want to tell you that the kingdom of God needs those valiant. People. Que renuncie a Simón. That renounces Simon. Y acepte a Jesucristo en su and vida. And accept Jesus in their life. Eso es ser valiente. This is being val uh, courageous. No es tener drogas. It's not to have drugs. No es tener sexo. It's not being in sex. No es tener alcohol. It's not being an alcoholic. Es tener una vida basado en la escritura. Is to have a life based in scripture. Y donde lleguemos. And wherever we are. De mi interior. From my inside. Van a correr ríos de agua viva. Rivers of living water. Y los que flow. estén a mi alrededor. And those that are around me. Llenos de Simón. Uh, filled with Simon Serán libres. are going to be free Porque en mí el Espíritu Santo because the Holy Spirit in me min ministra a mucha gente. ministers to many people y su poder and his power va a ser libre. is going to va a ministrar. free people va a romper it's going cadenas. to minister it's going to break Pero estamos en un tiempo que necesitamos well, levantar una iglesia fuerte. if we're in a season where we have to uh, raise up a strong church no una iglesia pasiva. Not a passive church. Mientras nosotros callamos. While we are silent. Simón destruye vidas. Simon is destroying lives. Y en Medellín nos pasó algo. And Medellín, in Medellín something happened. Medellín está inundada de Simon. Uh, yeah, Medellín is filled with Simons. Engaño. A lot of deceit. Dinero. A lot of money. Prostitución. Prostitution. Homosexualismo. Homosexuality. Lesbianismo. Lesbianism. De todo. All kinds of stuff. Las calles huelen a marihuana. Streets smell like marijuana. Más de uno irá, mmm. Some, some of us will go, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> es increíble. It's amazing. Y llegamos a una familia and we arrived to a family compartiéndole el evangelio uh, just sharing the gospel with no them. conocían de Cristo they didn't know Jesus. y esta pareja and this couple, tenían una camioneta they had a truck, y el hombre trabajaba haciendo viajes and the man worked, uh, doing trips. recibió un texto donde le ofrecieron un trabajo So he wrote us a text where they offered him a job. Llevar unas personas al Peñol, que es un lugar turístico de Medellín. To take this group of people to a place called El Peñol, which is like a touristic place. Esa mañana salió a las 9 de la mañana en su camioneta. That morning he left at 9 a.m. in the morning. Le iba escribiendo a su esposa, ya los recogí, voy para El Peñol. And he was texting his wife, hey, I have the people, I'm on my way. Pero a las 12 del día se cortó la comunicación. But at 12, midday, uh, all communication was caught. Y esta mujer empezó a llamarlo y no contestaba. And this woman started to call and call and he didn't answer. Apagaron el teléfono. They turned off the, the phone. Y ella me llama y me dice, pastor, algo le pasó. And uh, he calls me and says, pastor, something happened. Yo le decía, espere porque no sabemos qué pasó. And, and I said, wait, because we don't know what's going on. Pero ella me decía, yo siento en mi corazón que algo pasó. But I, she said, I feel in my heart something happened. Ella llevaba 20, dos, ve, dos meses en el Evangelio. She was only two months in the Lord. Y lo primero que dijo es, and the first thing she said was, a mediodía, at midday, dijo, me colocó ya en ayuno. I just will start a fast hasta que él aparezca until he appears pero ya había desayunado but she had already had breakfast pero ella es nueva en el evangelio and is very new in the gospel y ella dijo voy a ayunar but she said i'm going to fast hasta que él aparezca until he appears lo único que yo dije es que fe la de esta mujer The only thing I said is, wow, what a faith in this woman. Empezamos a averiguar por su esposo a ver si encontrábamos la localización del carro. We, we started to look around to see if we found the car. Y lo primero que nos dice eh, la policía es que es una banda que trabaja robando camionetas. Oh, and he says, we, we contacted the police and the police said that it was a band of people, a gang of people that were stealing trucks. Y por lo general, a cada hombre que le roban la camioneta, lo matan. And generally, every time they, they steal a truck, they kill the owner. Y ella oraba y decía, no me levanto 
hasta que él aparezca. And she would be fasting and saying, I will not break this until he appears. Y pasó desde el sábado 12 del día. So on, from Saturday 12. Hasta el domingo 7 de la mañana. Until Sunday at 7 a.m. Que la llamaron de un hospital. They, she received a call from a hospital. Que él apareció drogado. That he had appeared drugged. Llega al hospital. He arrives at the hospital. Su esposo empieza a reaccionar después de ser drogado. He starts to kind of wake up from his drug. Y empieza él a contarle lo que vivió durante ese tiempo. And he starts telling the story. Lo que ella estaba haciendo de rodillas. What she was doing on her knees. Él estaba viviendo otras cosas. He was living something else. Y él dice que lo pararon en el camino. He says they stopped me in the way. Lo obligaron a tomar una bebida con drogas. They made him take a, a, a drink that had drugs in it. Lo pasaron a la parte de atrás de la camioneta. They took him to the, the, the back of the car. Empezó a perder el sentido. He started to lose all sense of, of time. Pero él recuerda que subieron una mujer y se la colocaron al lado. But he remembers that they took a, a, a a woman and they put him by him y estaban subiendo hacia la montaña and they were going up a mountain y le pegaron un tiro a la mujer and they shot the woman y la mataron and killed her cuando él vio eso when he saw that él en medio de estar drogado he in the middle of his drug thing él abrió la puerta he opened the door y había un voladero and there was like like a cliff y él se tiró And he, he just uh, threw himself in it. Y cuando él se tiró, And le empezaron did, a, disp a disparar. They started to, to shoot at him. Y él sentía como las balas le pasaban al lado. And he felt like the, all the bullets were going by his body. Y cuando estaba eso sucediendo, And when that was happening, su esposa estaba de rodillas orando. His wife was on her knees. Porque no recibió solo palabra. Because she didn't receive only the word. Recibió poder. But power. Y ese poder salvó a su esposo. That power saved his husband, her husband. Y ese poder And that power está en su vida. Is in your life. Está en su vida. It is your life. Está en su vida. In your life. Y podemos salvar muchas vidas. And we can save many lives. Pero ¿dónde está la iglesia de But Jesucristo? Where is the church of Jesus Christ? ¿Dónde está ese poder where en nosotros? Where is that power in us? Estamos acostumbrados a lo fácil. We are just used to easy. Que la vida con Dios no debe pasar nada. That, you know, if you have God, nothing should happen. Es una mentira. That's a lie. De Simón. That's a lie. Porque el mayor poder Because the greatest power es para enfrentar al diablo. Is to confront the devil. Y cuando estamos en la iglesia And when we're in the church, es para quebrantar las obras del enemigo. Is to break the powers of the enemy. No para vivir de bendición en bendición. Not just to live from blessing to blessing. Eso es una añadidura. That is something that is given in addition. Por eso Felipe That's why Philip, donde llegó, wherever he estaba went, Simón, Simon was engañando a todo mundo, deceiving everyone, haciéndose pasar por Dios, uh, saying that he was God, hasta que llegó alguien de Dios, until somebody that's truly God, y derribó su mentira. Godly broke that lie. Este mundo necesita. This world needs. Felipes, Phillips, que donde lleguemos go, derribemos todas las mentiras we break all the de los que lies, predican un falso Jesús of those that preach a false de los Jesus, pastores que abusan de los niños the pastors that are abusing que se roban children, los diezmos that are the, the que manosean types, las niñas that are touching inappropriately the girls. necesitamos gente de we Dios church, iglesias de Dios People of que God, oremos that we pray, que se abran los cielos that, uh, the open, the, the skies were open, y que el enemigo huya and that the enemy would listen. ¿cuál es su papel en What la iglesia? Is your place in the church? ¿a qué lo llamó el Señor? What did God call you yo hablo con be? muchos jóvenes I speak to a lot of young people. pero los jóvenes ni ponen cuidado porque mantienen con el celular but they didn't, don't even pay attention because they're in, on their cell phone y el enemigo And the enemy les está robando todo el fruto is, is stealing all the fruit. Come on. Mm -hmm. la tecnología Technology no debe acabar la presencia de Cristo cannot, shouldn't, shouldn't what the presence of God? stop the presence of God 
el Señor hoy. The Lord today. Necesita vidas llenas de poder. Needs lives filled with power. Aquí cantamos, Sami, gracias por la alabanza. We were here uh, worshiping, Sami, thank you for the worship. Pero esto tenemos que vivirlo afuera. But this we have to live out there. Donde pasemos. Whenever we go. Eso que se siente acá. This that we feel here. Se sienta afuera. Has to be felt out there. Satanás sabe Satan knows que ustedes adoran a Cristo, that you worship Jesus, pero no los quiere dejar vivir el poder de Cristo. But he doesn't want to allow you to live that power. Porque a través de sus vidas, because through your lives, muchos van a ser cambiados. Many are going to be changed. Pero es su decisión. But it is your decision. Hay que tener carácter. You have to have character. Hay que creerle a Dios. You have to believe God. Hay que caminar sobre las aguas. You have to walk. Tu palabra, dice, tu palabra dice, lo va a hacer. Él no miente. Pero es diferente decirlo a vivirlo. Necesitamos iglesias fuertes en el Señor. Que donde Satanás esté reinando, Raining. lleguen misioneros Missioners will come in y lleven la presencia del Señor and take the presence of God. transformen esos lugares Transform those places. Yes. Yes. Come on. pero la gente no quiere ser misionera But people don't want to be in missions. quieren comodidad They just want to be comfortable. y saben que la comodidad mata la espiritualidad Do you know that comfortableness kills spirituality? No porque la comodidad sea mala. No because being comfortable is bad. Sino porque la comodidad se convierte en nuestro Dios. But because comfortableness becomes our God. Y donde el primer lugar no es para Cristo. And wherever the first place is not for Christ. Simón gobierna. Simon will govern. Por eso los jóvenes no quieren ir a ningún lugar. That's why young people don't want to go anywhere. Para muchos jóvenes este es Simón. For many young people this is Simon. Estamos perdiendo la juventud. We're losing our young people. Las tinieblas darkness van a seguir gobernando. Will continue to govern hasta que nosotros prediquemos. Until we preach las tinieblas tienen poder Darkness will continue to have power porque nosotros callamos because we are silent. porque decimos te amo Jesús because we say we love you, Jesus. pero no enfrentamos las tinieblas But we don't confront darkness. te amo Jesús Jesus, I love you. dame un buen trabajo Give me a good job. te amo Jesús I love you, Jesus. quiero cambiar el carro I want to get a better car. te amo Jesús I love you, Jesus. quiero mejor ropa I Want to dress better. Te amo Jesús. I love you, Jesus. Quiero el mejor iPhone. I, I know the, the better iPhone. Y Jesús dice. And Jesus says, me amas? Do you love me? Cuida mis ovejas. Me amas? Feed my sheep. Do you love me? Cuida mis ovejas. Feed my sheep. ¿Dónde está nuestro corazón, iglesia? Where is our heart, church? Y sé que hoy es un tiempo especial donde el Señor quiere avivar su poder en ustedes. I know that this is a special moment where God wants to uh, awaken our hearts for him. Pero lo quieren. But do you want him? ¿Quieren realmente este poder? Do you really want this power? ¿Para qué quieren ese poder? What, why do we want the power? ¿Quieren ser luz? Do you want to be a light? ¿O quieren decir Dios me usa? Or do you want to say, God uses me? El orgullo no sirve. Pride has no place. Cuando tengo su espíritu. When I have his spirit. Porque lo que hago, lo hago por él. Because what I do, I do it for him. Lo hago por él. I do it Tú moriste for him. por mí. You died for me. ¿Qué hago por ti? What do I do for you? Y el Señor dice, mira los campos, ya están And listos. And he says, look at the fields, they are ready for harvest. Ve por ellos. Go for them. Porque el espíritu de aquel que levantó a Jesús de entre los muertos está en ustedes. ¿Qué no pueden hacer? La sociedad espera por ustedes. 
La naturaleza espera la manifestación Nature de los hijos de Dios. Waits for the manifestation of the sons. Mientras nos perdemos en cosas vanas. While we just get lost in vanity. ¿Qué necesita Cristo en esta mañana? What does Jesus need this morning? No podemos olvidar we cannot forget quién habita acá. Who dwells here? ¿Quién murió por mí? Who died for me? ¿Quién aquí ha recibido el Espíritu Santo? Who here has received the Holy Spirit? Y si el Espíritu de Dios está en ustedes, And if that spirit is in you, mayores cosas de las que Cristo hizo, greater things that Jesus did, ustedes van a hacer. You will do. Se abrirán puertas. Uh, doors will open. Orarán por enfermos. You will pray for the sick. Orarán por muertos y resucitarán. You will, uh, you will pray for the dead and they will resurrect. No sé si lo crean. I don't know if you believe this. Yo, oreo, yo oré por dos. I prayed for two. Y resucitaron. And they are resurrected. Es verdad. It's true. Es verdad. It's true. Pero hasta que no lo vivimos, But until we leave it, no entendemos que es verdad. We don't understand how true it is. Y muchos están perdiendo el poder de Dios. And many are losing the power of God. Porque es más importante otras cosas. Because so other things are more important. El mundo se está perdiendo. The world is getting lost. Mientras nosotros oramos por una bendición, while we pray for a blessing, la bendición va a venir. The blessing will come. Por servirle a él. Because you're serving him. Él sabe de qué tengo necesidad. He knows our need. Él sabe si necesito zapatos. He knows if I need shoes. Él sabe si necesito comer. I, he knows that I need to eat. Es mi papá. He's my father. Él me ama. He loves me. Él me va a dar. He's going to give me. Me va a bendecir. Me. He's going to bless es me. Es mi papá. He's my dad. Es mi papá. He's my dad. Yo no tengo que pedir lo que él me da. He, I don't even have to ask him and he'll give it to me. Yo tengo que hacer lo que él necesita. What I need to do is to do what he needs. Yo le sirvo a él. I serve him. Y honro su muerte en la cruz. And I honor his death in the cross. Lo hago por amor a ti, Jesús. I do it because I love you, Jesus. Nadie, nadie nos puede quitar lo que Cristo nos dio en la cruz. No one, no one can take away what Jesus did inside of us. Nosotros rechazamos we, lo que él dio en la cruz. We reject what he did on the cross. Hoy necesitamos tomar una decisión. Today we have to make a decision. O vivimos en poder. We either live in power. O vivimos en mediocridad. Or we live a mediocre life. Cada uno tiene que decidir. Sé que ustedes son jóvenes. We all have to decide. I know you are young. Pero la Biblia habla. But the Bible speaks. Daniel. David. Daniel. David. Ezequiel. Ezequiel. Jeremías. Jeremiah. Jóvenes. They were young. Que le sirvieron a Dios. That served God. Y fueron de impacto en sus generaciones. And they were very impactful in their generation. Así que nos negamos a ver nuestros jóvenes rendidos a lo que no es Cristo. So we refuse to see our youth bow down to what is around. Rendidos a la pornografía. Uh, bowing down to pornography. Rendidos a problemas mentales. Bowing down to mental issues. Soledad. Uh, isolation. Rechazo. Rejection. Cuando los jóvenes vienen a Cristo. When the young people come to Christ. Son jóvenes llenos de poder. They are young people filled with power. Muchachos, lleguen a Cristo. Young guys, just come to Christ. La vida en Cristo vale la pena. It is worth it. Y su futuro está seguro en él. And your future is secure in him. Así que yo invito a toda la iglesia. I invite the whole church. Vamos a vivir poder. Let's live power. Vamos a vivir la presencia de Let's Dios. Let's live the presence of God. Oremos unos por otros. Let's pray one for Echemos another. fuera las tinieblas. Let's get out the, the darkness. Es nuestro trabajo. It is our job. Nuestro trabajo es reunirnos. Our job is to get together. Recibir palabra. Receive word. Poder. Power. Y salir. And go out. Ministrar. Minister. Orar. Pray. Y decirle a las tinieblas. And tell the darkness, Cristo murió por estas Jesus familias. Suéltelas ahora. Suéltelas ahora. Yeah, en el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Enfermedad, espíritu you de muerte. And death. Brujería. Uh, witchcraft. Fuera. Out. 
Pero ese es nuestro trabajo. But that's our job. Cuando vamos a las misiones, When we go to missions, las tinieblas tiemblan. Darkness trembles. Porque sabe quién llega a cada lugar. Because they know who is coming. Porque las tinieblas saben cuando los jóvenes empiezan a orar para ir a un país. See when when the people when young people start praying to go somewhere else. Las tinieblas saben que esa misión va a ser un éxito. Darkness knows those guys are going to be successful. Por eso ir a una misión es tan difícil conseguir el dinero. And that's why going to missions is so difficult. It's find the the, the money. Y la gente en la iglesia que tiene dinero And the in have money, no apoya las misiones. Don't porque necesitan un televisor grande. They need a TV. La iglesia tiene que cambiar. The needs to Por eso quería contarles que con el apoyo que ustedes dan That's why I para muchos otros países for many other, uh, cities and nations, Dios está actuando. God is acting. Y siento en mi corazón And I feel in my heart que viene algo especial para la iglesia. That something special is coming to the church. Porque son de los que apoyan. Because you are the ones that es una iglesia support. con poder. You are a church of power. Pero tenemos que ir más allá. But we have to just go a little further. Dejemos la comodidad. Let's leave behind all comfort. Y rindamos a Cristo. Yeah, lo que somos. Yeah, and let's give to Jesus everything we are. Amen. 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 Lo creen? Do you believe it? Yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> ¿Saben quién está más emocionado? Do you know who is more encouraged? Simón. Oh, I was. Simón dice. C Simon. <laughs> ¿Qué poder en la iglesia? Yeah, Simon is like, hmm, what power in the church? Come on. Come on. Esto tiene que cambiar. This has to change. Yeah. Y Dios quiere usarnos para que esto cambie. And God wants to use you so that this changes. Pero si no cambiamos la actitud, but if we don't change the attitude, Dios no nos va a obligar. God is not going to make us. A creerle. To believe. Por eso el reino de los cielos sufre violencia. That's why the the kingdom of of God suffers violence. Pero solo los valientes. But only the violent. Arrebatan esto. Take it by force. Quiero invitarles a que pidamos más poder y convencimiento. I, I want to invite you to ask for more power or more convincing. Que donde usted llegue. So that wherever you go. Las tinieblas tiemblen. Darkness tremble. Que donde usted llegue. That wherever we go. Usted ore. You pray y cambia el ambiente. ¿Conocen la historia de Carlos Anacondia? Carlos Anacondia? Un pastor de Argentina. Él era diácono en una iglesia. He was a deacon in a church. Y llamaron al pastor a que fuera a orar en una iglesia. And they a, the, a un hospital, perdón. Yeah, they the pastor to go and pray at a hospital. El pastor no pudo ir. The pastor couldn't go. Pero envió a Carlos Anacondia. But he sent Carlos Anacondia. Llega Carlos a este hospital. He comes into this hospital. Y siempre su oración empieza así. And always his prayer starts this way. Oídme bien Satanás. Listen to me Satan. Y empezaba a orar por los And enfermos. And then he would start praying for Oídme the bien Satanás. Listen to me Satan. Fuera de ese cuerpo. Out from that body. Y se empezaron a sanar todos los de ese piso. And everybody in that floor started to get healed. Y llegó el momento. And the moment arrived. Donde colocaron la foto de Carlos Anacondia. When they would put the picture from this En la puerta Carlos del hospital. In the, in the hospital's door. Y le prohibieron la entrada. And he, they prohibited his, his coming in. Porque si él entraba. Because if he came in. Se les dañaba el negocio. The business was over. Y Carlos Anacondia And Carlos se hacía frente al hospital. Would go in front of the hospital. Y le decía, Señor, hazme invisible. And he would say, God, make me invisible. Hazme invisible. Make me invisible. Y empezaba a caminar. And he would start walking in. Y entró al hospital. And he would come in y oraba. The hospital and pray. Y se or y se And sanaba people la gente. would get say, uh, healed. Y se preguntaban qué pasó. And people go like, what the heck is happening? El poder de Dios lo hizo. 
did it. Este hombre fue a Colombia. This man went to Colombia. Y yo fui a su conferencia. And I went to his conference. Y era un lugar grande. And it was a big place. Y empieza a orar. And he starts praying. Oídme bien, Satanás. Listen to me, Satan. Reprendo la muerte. I rebuke your death. Reprendo el sicariato. I, I rebuke something. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what sicariato is. <laughs> Y empieza a pasar un joven. And it, it, it starts to happen. Un joven va con una pistola grande. A young uh, man comes with a big pistol, gun. Y le dice. And tells him. Venía a matarlo. I'm coming to kill you. Pero cuando empezó a decir, oíme bien, Satanás. But when you said, listen to me, Satan. Sentí que algo salió de mí. I felt something came out of me. Acá pongo la pistola. Here is my gun. Y entregó su vida a Cristo. And he gave his life to Jesus. Eso es poder. Come on, that's power. Eso es poder, that's iglesia. Power. That's power, church. Eso es lo que Dios tiene para this, nosotros. This is what God wants for us. Y uno lo escucha. And you listen to this. Y dice, chévere. And you say, great. Pero vívalo. But let's leave it. Hace cuatro años. Four years ago. Que fuimos a Venezuela. We went to Venezuela. Teníamos que pasar de Colombia a Venezuela. And, and we had to go from Colombia to Venezuela. A través de la frontera. Through the uh, border. Pero la policía venezolana. But the Venezuelan police. Quitaba lo que eran medicinas. He would take whatever medicine. Dinero. Money. Ropa. Clothing. Todo. Everything. Y nosotros íbamos con. 15 misioneros. And we would go with 15 missionaries. Y cada uno llevaba dos maletas de 22 kilos. And every single one had two uh, uh, pieces of luggage with 20 kilos. 30 maletas. 30 pieces of luggage. Nos tocó contratar un carro. If we had to uh, get a car. Llevar todas las maletas. Or take all this luggage. Todos los misioneros identificados con las camisas. Uh, all the missionaries identified with shirts. Y 50 metros antes, and 50 meters before, empezamos a orar que Dios nos hiciera invisible. We started praying for God to make us invisible. 15 misioneros, 15 missionaries, 30 maletas, 30 pieces of luggage, haznos invisibles. Make us invisible. Oh, oh. No nos vieron. They did not see us. Es verdad. It's true. Pero uno tiene que enfrentar cuando leemos a David que like, cerró la boca de los leones para cerrar la boca del león to, to close the, the mouth of a lion, necesitamos al león. We need the lion. Y para vivir el poder de Dios And to live the power of God, Necesitamos dificultades. We need difficulties. Así que el que ora. So the one that prays. Que todo le salga bien. That everything will go smooth. I'm about to jump. I mean, I'm like, Whoa! come on, bro. Woo! Wow, great. <laughs> Me encanta esto. Bueno, no tengo más tiempo. Okay, I have no more time. Pero quiero decirles, quiero terminar con esto. I want to finish with this. El Espíritu de Dios the Spirit of God está que se trabaja en ustedes. He's here working among us. El Espíritu de Dios the Spirit of God está que fluye en sus vidas. It is flowing in your lives. El Espíritu Santo the Holy Spirit anhela que usted vaya a muchos lugares desires for you to go to many places para Él fluir. So that he can flow. Él necesita a Felipe. He needs Philip para que Simón se ha echado fuera. So that Simon is cast out. Y cuando leemos hechos, And when we read Acts, lo que hizo Felipe what Philip did fue predicar was to preach en el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre que tiene in poder. The name that has power. En el nombre que venció las tinieblas. In the name that overcame darkness. En el nombre que sí realmente tiene poder. In the name that truly has power. Así que salgamos a predicar. So let's go out and preach. Pero a Jesucristo. But Jesus Christ. No de nosotros. Not ourselves. No de mis necesidades. Not about my needs. De su necesidad. It's his need. 
Y su necesidad es salvación. And his need is salvation. Para eso estamos nosotros. That's why we are here. Amén. Amen. Si ese aplauso es para mí. But if that applause is for me, it's okay. Para él no. Not for him. Para él es lo mejor de lo mejor de lo mejor. Así que levántele un aplauso a lo mejor. So let's give a good applause to the best. Porque él es lo mejor. Because he is él, the best. Jesús. Él vive por siempre. He is alive forever. Él vive forever. por siempre. He lives forever. Él vive por he siempre. He lives forever. Sabe so, cómo está en este momento las tinieblas. Do you know how darkness is right now? I want to answer, but I won't. Newport. Newport. Dove. Dove. Pero es tiempo de levantarnos. Amen. It's time to rise up. Vamos a orar. Let's pray. Vamos a orar. Let's pray. Es tiempo de lo mejor. It's time for the best. Póngase sobre sus pies. Come on, let's stand up. This morning, the Lord woke me up early in the morning and he said, you know, all that stuff that you've been dealing with and pushing through and contending for, he said, it's not about you, Sheree. I want you to pray for souls. I want you to go and, and pluck souls out of hell's grass. That what the enemy has tried to extract and distract and keep you busy with, that he's going to repay 30, 60, 100 fold because God is going to deliver some people and he's going to set some people free today. And the, the word that he's been reading from, I've been stuck in 1 Corinthians for two weeks, praying and interceding. So I believe that this is an, a moment, a, a sign by God for right now. Is anybody in this room believe that? So I feel like today we're going to pray for um, people who feel like they've been dealing with oppression and bondage. So I just want to ask our, our prayer team to come forward. We're actually going to pray for uh, demons to be cast out, spirits of oppression to be cast out. Can we believe for some for God to set people free? Because it, it starts here and it goes out from us. And then I also want to believe for the second thing, that people who know that they know that they know that they're called to operate in the activity like Philip. You've been faithful in the small things or you know you're called to be faithful in small things. But the Holy Spirit is going to come upon you with power. I want to ask um, that the, some of the prayer team come and pray for those who want a fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit, not for goosebumps, but for power to preach the gospel, to go where you're called to go. So as we prepare and worship, if that's you and you just know, I want to come and ask just for a fresh and filling of the Holy Spirit, um, the prayer team on this side, guys, I want to pray. If, you come, if you're coming for prayer on this side, And we want to pray for the fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit. And if you've never been filled with the Holy Spirit, come, come and these guys will pray with you. And if you've been feeling like there's just stuff in your life that you don't understand, cycles in your life that you can't break free of, and you're just going to come and be like, all right, Lord, just set me free. If you come up on this side, these guys are going to pray for deliverance over anybody who comes in Jesus' name. And we don't have to be afraid or ashamed because God has called us to be free. So if you want to be free, get free. Amen. Yes, yeah, what the Bible says. They cast out the demons and they walked in freedom and everyone received freedom. So there's freedom in this house. Amen. All right. So let's pray. Uh, Sammy, you can just lead us in worship and start. We're going to just start to pray. And as we do that, uh, if you are not responding, just start to worship and pray uh, to the Lord. And we're going we're gonna to go for it. Whatever God has for us this morning. Amen. All right, so if you're here and you recognize that there's been demonic oppression in your life, don't wait. Hear me, don't wait. Amen? All right, so thank you, Lord. Jesus, we invite your presence in this place. We thank you for your glory in our midst, God. I thank you, Lord, that today is a day of salvation. Today is a day of deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ, the name that is greater than any other name the power that is greater than any other power. 
in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come today, we lift you on high, and we exalt your holy name. I thank you, Lord, that you desire to bring freedom to your children. I thank you, Lord, that you desire to bring salvation to your children. This morning, Lord, I thank you for your glory in this place. Every place where bondage has been reigning, every place where demonic um, oppression has been reigning in the lives, in the mind, in the spirit, in the body right now, today, right now, this morning, by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, every spirit of infirmity, every spirit of depression, every spirit of suicide right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, the name that is greater than any other name, we command you to go in Jesus' name right now. Get out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord God, that today freedom reigns in this place. Victory reigns in this place. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let's worship the Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you.